Hi everybody, and welcome to Loft Legacy. Tomorrow sees the release of Iron Maiden's brand new album, Senjetsu, where they return to a Japanese theme. And I do say return because they have been made in Japan before. So this is the 1990 re-release of Made in Japan EP. Bit of a comedy take on Made in Japan by, of course, the Mighty Deep Purple. Now it's part of the first 10 years, so it was a double EP 12 inch single with Purgatory. Purgatory on the back, Made in Japan. And they're both inside. Let's open it up. So Purgatory, there's not much to see. Just a copy of the Killers album cover. But Made in Japan, there's far more. There's far more to see. It's really to say thank you for their first world tour. Uh, it also promotes their new live VHS tape, which we will be covering later. I do own a copy of the Iron Maiden VHS tape, whatever it was called. The Iron Maiden video cassette, that's what it's called on here. Uh, the one that's live in the rainbow, which Adrian Smith has got. A leopard skin vest thing on and it's, it looks like Fred, Frintz, Fred Flintstone's gilet, it's quite horrendous but it's a great performance and you kind of forget what Paul Diano was like, yes Bruce is the best Maiden singer by a long way and even Paul Diano acknowledges this but it's nice to look back and just you know these first two albums how vital they were and it's nice they brought out this EP. The original artwork for this I believe by Derek Riggs had Eddie holding up Paul Diano's head and Rod Smallwood said no we're not releasing that it actually got released I believe in Venezuela uh, I'll put it on the screen but I actually prefer it with the the samurai sword let's have a look at it so it's got running free remember tomorrow Saitu killers and innocent exile that was on the original pressing on this pressing side A's got running free remember tomorrow now these weren't produced by Martin Birch, they're produced and mixed by Iron Maiden and Doug Hall, the sound engineer, which is pretty interesting that uh, even then Maiden were producing the cells. On side B's Killers, Innocent Exile, but also Listen With Nico Part 3, <laughs> uh, Listen With Nico was something he put on all of these. I owned quite a few of them, I wish, why didn't I buy them all? Why didn't I buy them all? But you know, as a, <laughs> as a teenager, Money's a little bit tight, but little bit Nicko's Nicko just telling a few Nicko tales and making his little, <laughs> little funny Nicko noises. Whatever he says, uh, it's got the address for the Iron Maiden fan club unit. Don't, don't write to this, I don't think it's the address anymore. Unit 10, 15 Lots Road, London, Southwest 10. Group photography taken in Japan by Rod Smallwood. So these are Rod Smallwood photographs. This is done by a professional photographer called Hiro Ono. Don't know who he is. But these are taken by Rod, which is quite nice. Uh, another string to his multi-talented bar. And it advertises killers. And it says this record is dedicated to all the headbangers, earth dogs and metal merchants around the world Thanks for making our first world tour such a success. And who'd have thought where they went from here? Uh, Paul Diano, out. Bruce, in. Uh, possibly one of the most <laughs> shattering lineup changes in metal history that's been an advantage. You know, what, what a move, what a move. And on the DVD, the early years, which is, is available free on YouTube, published by Iron Maiden, I'll put the link below, it's got all this era, all the stories, official stories, and how Rod recruited Bruce at the Reading Festival and had a bit of a word with him, and it's fantastic, and I'll, I've got it on DVD, but you can see it on YouTube free. So, sayonara, I'm having, keeping my Japanese theme, and Asahi, thanks very much for watching, <sighs> cheers.
Take care, everybody, and see you soon.